Good Monday morning. This is Kim Blaylock with SDG Bible Study. That's the Soli Deo Gloria Bible Study coming to you on this Monday morning, May the 15th, 2023. And we will continue this morning in our reading of God's Word chronologically from the One Year Chronological Bible. We're in the book of Psalms again this morning, and we'll be re reading some selected Psalms this morning. So join me as we read God's Word together this morning. Beginning in Psalms 131. A Song of Ascents of David. O Lord, my heart is not lifted up, my eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me. But I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother, like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Psalms 133 a song of ascents of David. Behold, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. It is like the precious oil on the head, running down on the beard, on the beard of Aaron, running down on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord has commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Psalms 138. Of David. I give you thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods, I sing your praise. I bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your steadfast love and your faithfulness. For you have exalted above all things your name and your word. On the day I called you, you answered me. My strength of soul you increased. All the kings of the earth shall give you thanks, O Lord, for, for they have heard the words of your mouth. And they shall sing of the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. For the Lord... For though the Lord is high, he regards the lowly, but the haughty he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand delivers me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Psalms 139 To the choir master, a psalm of David. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern, discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with with all my ways. Even before, even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the light about me be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as the day. The night is bright as the day for darkness is as light with you. For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. 
Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. You, your eyes saw my un, unformed substance. In your book were written, every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when, I, when as yet there was none of them. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake, and I am still with you. O oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God! O men of blood, depart from me! They speak against you with malicious intent. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with complete hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any grievous way in me. And lead me in the way of everlasting. Psalms 140 To the choir master, a psalm of David. Deliver me, O Lord, from evil men. Preserve me from violent men who plan evil things in their heart and stir up wars continually. They make their tongue as sharp as a serpent's and under their lips is the venom of asps. Selah. Guard me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who have planned to trip up my feet. The arrogant have hidden a trap for me, and with cords they have spread a net. Beside the way they have set snares for me. Selah. I say to you, I say to you, I say to the Lord, you are my God. Give ear to the voice of my pleas for mercy, O Lord. O Lord, my Lord, the strength of my salvation, you have covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Do not further their evil plot, or they will be exalted. Selah. As for the head of those who surround me, let the mischief of their lips overwhelm them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into fire, into miry pits, no more to rise. Let not the slanderer be established in the land. Let evil hunt down the violent man speedily. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and will execute justice for the needy. Surely the righteous shall give thanks to your name. The upright shall dwell in your presence. Psalms 141 A Psalm of David. O Lord, I call upon you, hasten to me. Give ear to my voice when I call to you. Let my prayer be counted as incense before you, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Do, do not let my heart incline to any evil. Too busy myself with wicked deeds in company with men who work iniquity, and let not and let me not eat of their delicacies. Let a righteous man strike me; it is a kindness. Let him rebuke me; it is oil for my head. Let my head not refuse it. Yet my prayer is continually against their evil deeds. When their judges are thrown over the cliff, then they shall hear my words, for they are pleasant. As when one plows and breaks up the earth, so shall our bones be scattered at the mouth of Sheol. But my eyes are toward you, O God, my Lord. In you I seek refuge. Leave me not defenseless. Keep me from the trap that they have laid for me and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I pass by safely. Psalms 143, a Psalm of David. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my pleas for mercy. 
In your faithfulness, answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for no one living is righteous before you. For the enemy has pursued my soul, he has crushed my life to the ground, he has made me sit in darkness like those long dead. Therefore my spirit faints within me, my heart within me is appalled. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all that you have done, I ponder the work of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul thirsts for you, like a parched land, Selah. Answer me quickly, O Lord, my spirit fails. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love, for in you I trust. Make me know the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. For your namesake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring my soul out of trouble. And in your steadfast love, you will cut off my enemies, and you will destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For I am your servant. And that will conclude our reading from God's word this morning in these selected psalms, these psalms of, of King David. Some beautiful readings this morning. and should be an encouragement to your heart and soul this morning to read those and uh, to hope in them. Uh, sing the heart of King David and his reliance and his dependence upon God. I hope that's your heart this morning. I hope it's mine. Uh, I need to be reminded of these psalms continuously to rest all my hopes, fears, trepidation on God and trust Him for He is a good God. I hope you will give Him the glory that He has deserved this morning. Have a blessed day, solely Deo Gloria.